So on that note, I'm going to leave you with one of my goals that I made happen that is, was really a dream, actually, more than a goal. But I've always dreamed of living in New York. I wanted to either go to New York or San Francisco. So I've been in San Francisco from Minnesota originally. But I decided a couple years ago, Rika has been helping us try to get a house <laughs> forever. I don't know if we'll ever bite the bullet. But anyway, I remember thinking, why don't I just see what it costs to live in New York? And the prices were a little better. But I know in certain places, but oh. I know not anyway, still bad, still unaffordable for us. But what I realized, so this was I think August or September. No, it was August because then I said, why don't I go to New York and live for a month? So for my fiftieth birthday, I rented an apartment and lived in Manhattan for a month, oh. and it was probably one of the most rewarding things I've ever done in my life. And I'm so grateful too for my husband Chris's support. Everybody said, Well, is he coming with you? Like, are you guys okay? I'm like, Yeah, we're fine. He's coming for my birthday. Yes. <laughs> but we're good. Anyway, that was something that just felt kind of larger than life to me. And then to be able to say that that happened was really cool. So I just want to encourage you all to, first of all, thank you for being here, but also continue to follow your dreams because they're so much life and excitement from really honoring ourselves and doing what fulfills us. So on that note, thank you, Rika, and have a great evening.